my, I had two web servers poop in their diapers this week. One of them was my own computer. There was a new proprietary NVIDIA graphics driver that updated without me knowing, without asking me first. You just, the update installed the new driver and that made the computer stop working. It's okay. I have my own software to fix these things and I just fixed it and didn't lose a single file because I know what I'm doing. Then I had some update to the web server. The Pacific Daily Times web server actually had an update, not, not from my software. My software doesn't break stuff. I'd write a good, I do a good job with my, when I write software, but I, it, the, 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 my, as for those of you in, in geek, in geekville, the MySQL database, MySQL stopped working. No, George, I'm not trying to imply Oracle just because they're the ones who managed the software that broke when the update happened. I'm just saying it was MySQL that stopped working. No, I'm not trying to throw NVIDIA under the bus either for their driver breaking stuff. I'm just, I'm just saying that what I'm trying to say is that I fixed it really quickly, George, because I know what I'm doing. I, I did, it did take me all day to do this. In fact, as I made this, I'm still in the process of, of salvaging the Pacific Daily Times web server. And it, no, it's up and running. Most of you didn't know. Uh, although... I'm sure that a lot of people who read the Times on Sunday... Well, now, if you read the Times on Sunday, that doesn't make any sense because the, 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 the stuff comes out on Monday. So if, if you were reading the Pacific Daily Times website on a Sunday, you know, you're supposed to be working on Sunday. There's no news that happens on Sunday. Um, anyhow, so I got all those up and running and fixed and working again. And am I angry about it? No. No, I'm not angry about I'm not angry about it at all. I, I'm going to keep using MySQL database for, supplied by Oracle. I'm going to keep using NVIDIA graphics cards, even though the, the new NVIDIA driver broke it. I'm, I'm going to keep... No, because I know how to manage. I'm so good at my own coding that I can manage these big companies and their problems. Their quote-unquote updates that break stuff. I know how to manage. And that, that's really been hitting me this week. The, the ability to, to, to manage with, you know, the, I don't want to be a complainer, you know, I don't want to be a, I mean, I, I have trouble, trouble hits me. It smacks me in the face, but I want to ask myself what I can do to improve. If other people are doing a bad job and that's messing up my own work, that's an opportunity for me to become stronger and an opportunity for me to be sunshine for someone else. Well, the people that are messing up, I might be able to be sunshine to them. Probably they don't care, which is a thing. You know, people that do a bad job with their own work generally don't care. And then there's uh, not, well... Well, no, George, that, that wasn't a worthy bug. The, the problem over at the Digital Ocean website with their CSS... No, they have... The, like, on my computer, they have these black boxes. I don't... Okay, I'll talk about Digital Ocean in a minute, because they're not really doing anything wrong. Digital Ocean is amazing. I mean, everyone has problems. And Digital Ocean fixes theirs pronto. It's amazing. Just amazing. But you've got the people that have their problems... And maybe they care, maybe they don't. But then there's other people. It's a guy, you know, the big company does things badly. There's all the people that have problems because of it. I want to be sunshine to them. I want to respond to the problem by fixing it myself, by helping other people fix their problems that, that resulted because of, you know, the whatever, the big company, the big lazy company. I, I, want, to, I want to manage my own stuff to make sure that my mistakes aren't causing problems for others. My work is helping other people deal with the problems. My work is an example to other people to know that that's okay. We can just suck it up and gut it up and fix it. And, and I'll do some work to show other people how I fix my problems so they can quickly get their stuff right back and working again. And even though the big company does a bad job or whatever, all those other people, they don't, they won't, they won't 
have problems because of the company's problems because they're so awesome at what they do because I taught them how to be awesome. That's what I hope to be anyway. Am I there yet? I, I don't know if I'll ever get there before I die, but I want to get close to that. That's what I see in this. Really, I'm not angry about it. I'm, I'm really not. I'm tired. And you can hear my voice. <laughs> and I'm tired from all this dust that came over from China. Goodness. Few, last few weeks, we had air alerts all throughout Asia because of the dust from China. And then it's been incredibly cold. And in this neck of the woods, people don't have heaters in their houses. And the houses aren't designed for heaters. They're all these flexcrete, strong concrete, cement, solid buildings that get ice cold in the winter. And so my nose is screaming at me for, first from the dust from China, all the smog and stuff. And then in the alerts, and, ah, there's dirty air. And then, then the cold air and I'm coughing and my servers are pooping. In their, and, and what am I thinking about? I'm trying to contribute I'm trying to help people, even though I've got this going on. That's, that's my life. That's what I've been doing this week. DigitalOcean. I've, I've got this. No, no, George, I'm not going to talk about politics. I, no, I'm not going to. That's over at PacificDailyTimes.com and the Symphony Editorial. They got it on, they got videos and audio on Facebook, on the website, the Symphony.PacificDailyTimes.com. They got it on the Facebook page, on YouTube. They can go learn all about Lewis's idea that we should bomb Kim Jong Un's porta potty to, to, to stop him from doing his business, so he knows we're serious about ours. I, I am not going to go distract because I don't get into politics on on the podcast. I do that elsewhere. This is, this is about my boring life. So I live my boring life, and I have Ubuntu that I'm using on my computers. And for those of you in Read Rapids, Ubuntu is, is a free alternate operating system. You can use it instead of Windows or, or Apple, and it's free. As in, I mean, free as in free beer, but mostly free as in free speech. There's a difference. But it's both. And I use this. And, and you know how there's been a trend in dark? Like in Twitter, you can do like dark, you know? Like dark. On YouTube, you can do like the dark, like the dark version of YouTube. So, because it's, it's better to watch a movie when the rest of the web page is dark instead of like glaring white. You know, people read stuff in dark. And, and with these new Apple, Apple's doing it. The monitors, when, when, when the pixels in that area of the picture is supposed to be black, the, just the pixels just don't light up, which allows better contrast. You know, you know, you got like a light shining black color at you. It's like, what? It's black. It's not supposed to have light, you know. Well, Apple's doing it. And with more and more black screens, that will be less light shining. And, and I, Limbaugh said it, but I've known it for a long time. The display is the number one drain on your battery. Computer or phone or, or you know, your, your, your laptop notebook computer, it, your, the computer you have on your desk. The display is the number one uh, drain on electricity. Well, I have a dark theme on my own computer. The whole system computer, the, the, the file folders and everything is dark. So I was going to the DigitalOcean website and some of their boxes were appearing dark because of the settings on my personal computer. And it was a glitch. And I told DigitalOcean about it and they said, you know, Jess, thanks so much for telling us. They answered me right away. They said, send us pictures we want to know. And, and I told, we'll see how long before it gets fixed. But I said, you know, you guys should do a dark theme. You know, it's, it's easier to look at on the eyes. It saves energy. Oh, I'm almost out of time. I got to get to the point, but I want to recommend DigitalOcean. I just want to say they're awesome. Demanding rights and what one deserves is a sure sign of imminent downfall. Advocating rights for others is another story. Lifting the defenseless from despair. When privileged leaders demand rights for themselves, look out. That's a captain plowing directly into a field of icebergs. Many a successor takes over an organization started by someone else. That new leader didn't scrape to lift the organization from the mud. Without dirty, hard work, the organization wouldn't exist at all. Founders don't take their hard-earned results for granted. They don't consider results a right, but a privilege to pursue. Buy stock in lifters. That's the point. 
I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.